Hi, this is Dr. Kevin Smith. Thank you very much for checking out this video on hidden secret number 19 of why you can still have low thyroid symptoms even if your labs are normal and even if you're taking thyroid replacement hormone. In this video, in hidden secret number 19, we're going to talk about high levels of thyroid binding globulin leading to a low percentage of the uh, free fraction thyroid hormone. Now that's a mouthful. What does that all mean? First of all, let me explain how the thyroid pathway works. Your brain creates uh, a couple different hormones. One of them is called TRH, which is produced in the hypothalamus. That it sends a signal to the pituitary gland to create another hormone called TSH. You may have heard of that, thyroid stimulating hormone. TSH then goes to the thyroid gland and with the help of tyrosine, iodine, and TPO enzyme, the thyroid gland then makes thyroid hormone. There's two different types of thyroid hormone that the thyroid gland makes, T4 and T3. T4 is inactive, T3 is the active form. The T4 then goes to the liver where it's converted into T3, 60% of it is converted right there, and then another 20% then will go over to the gastrointestinal tract where it's converted another 20% into T3 and then it can be used by your body to create a metabolic response. When the thyroid hormone travels from the thyroid gland to the liver and from it goes from the liver to the GI tract or it travels to throughout your body, it does it via these little carrier proteins called thyroid binding globulin, TBG. Thyroid binding globulin, you can think of it like little taxi cabs. And if you think about, if you're downtown in a big city like New York City, you have all these little pedestrians walking around on the streets and then you have the taxi cabs rolling down the highway to pick up their fares and transport them to different locations. If they want to go from the Empire State Building down to see a Broadway musical, they have to get into a cab and drive from one place to another. Thyroid binding globulin are like the little cabs that take the thyroid hormone and transport it from the thyroid gland to the liver. So the thyroid hormone gets in the little cab, the thyroid binding globulin, and that transports it down to the liver, gets out of the cab, goes into the liver, gets converted into T3, and then jumps back into another TBG cab, and that goes out to the cells. Or then it goes from the liver, jumps into a different cab, and goes over to the GI tract, gets out of the cab, gets converted over there, and then goes over to these cells. But the thing is, you have to be able to transport this thyroid hormone somehow in the body. You can't just get there on its own. It needs this little carrier protein called TBG or thyroid binding globulin. Now, if you have, most of the thyroid hormone in your body is bound to this, these carrier proteins, the TBG proteins. If it is not bound, it is called a free hormone. You may have heard this like T, free T3 and free T4, but you may not have understood what that meant. That means that, that those hormones were not bound to TBG. If it just says T4, that usually indicates the bound form, and most of that is actually bound. So what happens if the TBG levels are too high or too low? And in this particular case, we're talking about high thyroid binding globulin. If, you're, if you have a set number of pedestrians on the sidewalk and you have an excessive amount of cabs going down the street, they're going to pick up too many pedestrians. That's going to drive down the amount of the free, uh, free hormone, the, the kind that's not bound. And so you'll have a, um, the, the free, fr the free uh, fraction of thyroid hormone will go down if you have too many taxi cabs picking them up. So that creates an imbalance in the system and that will drive down your, um, it'll cause a hypothyroid response. So you have to have the correct amount of thyroid binding globulin. It has to be in the correct ratios and the correct percentages to pick up the right amount of thyroid hormone from the thyroid gland to the liver and from the liver to the, the GI tract or from any of these structures out to your cells to function normally. And um, so, People that have this problem, they're going to have uh, normal, they may have normal TSH and normal T4, but they may have um, a high level of what's called a T3 uptake. I don't know if you've ever heard of that test or not, but T3 uptake is the test to check for thyroid binding globulin. I don't know why, but most doctors don't even run that test, and so they're missing a, a key component 
of your thyroid pathway and not really taking into consideration that they may, that may be one of the reasons why you could have in um, low thyroid type symptoms. Even if your TSH and your T4 levels are normal, and even if you're taking proper amount of Synthroid, if you don't have enough TBG or thyroid binding globulin, you could still suffer with low thyroid symptoms. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to communicate with me through my website at integratedmetabolic.com and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please tell a friend. And again, thank you very much for checking out this video.